a teacher categorized students by whether they regularly completed their homework or not and whether they passed the course or not. The data is below. A student from the class is randomly selected. Determine the following probabilities. Enter your results as percentages run into two decimal places. Number one, what is the probability a student passed the course given the student completed their homework? Because we are given the student completed their homework, this is called conditional probability. We can denote this probability using the notation shown here, the probability a student passed given the student completed their homework. Now looking at the table, because we are given the student completed their homework, we are only concerned about this column here that gives the students that completed their homework. Notice a total of 29 students completed their homework and therefore 29 is going to be the denominator of our probability a student passed given they completed their homework. And notice of the 29 students that completed their homework, 24 passed and therefore the probability the student passed given they completed the homework is 24 29 which you now need to convert to a percent, run it to two decimal places. We first convert to a decimal by dividing 24 by 29. Now to convert the decimal to a percent, we move the decimal point two places to the right and add a percent sign or multiply by 100 and add a percent sign. I'm gonna go ahead and just show the multiplication by 100. So now we have the percent, which we must round to two decimal places. Because there's an eight in the third decimal place, we round up to 82.76%. Number two, what is the probability a student passed the course given the student did not complete their homework? Here we are given the student did not complete their homework. So for this probability, we are only concerned with this column that gives all the students that did not complete their homework. Notice a total of 19 students did not complete their homework and therefore 19 as the denominator of the probability and since 6 of the 19 students that did not complete their homework still passed the probability a student passed given they did not complete their homework is 6 19 Going back to the calculator we have six divided by 19 to give us the decimal form of the probability. And now we multiply by 100 and add a percent sign to convert to a percent. But again, we need to round to two decimal places. Again, because we have an eight in the third decimal place, we round up to 31.58%. Let's take a look at two more examples. Same table. Number three, what is the probability a student completed their homework given the student passed the class? Here we are given that the student passed the class or passed the course, and therefore we are now only concerned about the row that shows the students that passed, which would be this row here. Notice a total of 30 students passed the class, 24 of which completed the homework and therefore the probability a student completed the homework given the student passed is 24 thirtieths. Going back to the calculator, 24 divided by 30 is equal to 0 0.8, 0 0.8 times 100 is equal to 80. The probability as a percentage is exactly 80%. And for the last probability, we want to find the probability a student did not complete their homework given the student did not pass the course. So because we are given the student did not pass the course, we are only concerned about the row that shows the students that did not pass. Notice a total of 18 students did not pass, 13 of which did not complete their homework, and therefore the probability a student did not complete their homework given they did not pass the course is 13 18 Going back to the calculator one last time, 
we have 13 divided by 18. Then we multiply by 100 and round to two decimal places. Because we have a two in the third decimal place, we round down to 72.22%. I hope you found this helpful.